distinguished viewers still on the report of the collapsed building in Massey Street, Itafaji area of Lagos State, where some school pupils were victims of the collapse. The government has been doing a lot to survey the situation. And this building where we are standing is a temporary abode for those of the victims that are still alive. At least they need a place to put their heads after they must have been treated okay and discharged from the hospital. We are here with the CDA chairman of this environment. He's going to tell us about this building, the purpose of this building and the uh, who is uh, in charge and uh, what are the things that are put in place to ensure that the place person that will be using this place, they can ensure the safety and their well-being. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. So what's the name, sir, once again? My name is Fatai Balogun. Okay. Chairman Italia CD. Oh, okay. So this uh, building, what is this building meant for? This building was meant for the community. Okay. During the regime of Alaji Latif, Jakondi. Okay. Yes, it's low downstairs okay. by then. Then this building was rebuilt by Honorable Muftar Aimu Okay. Yes. Since that time, then, uh, and the building also comprised uh, three CTA. Okay. And uh, Earth. Okay. Yes. We, we, have, we have been using this place for so for so long for so many years is it like this building is a community hall where you do meetings you yes. discuss about yes we used to do meetings this is our main hall that we are doing meeting and uh at okay. local government uh, they are using the okay. ground uh, ground floor and first floor so now yes. this building now is not it's not provided now to cater for the displaced person from the collapsed building Yes, it's, uh, this building house is for those people that are victim at a mass city. Okay. Those are their life is still stay alive okay. now. So, government should believe that they should do something okay. because now they are homeless. Yes. They should find where to put them so they they should. Government decided that they should locate them to this place. Yes. So as you can hear, this is just uh, this can be called an internet displaced camp for the victim of the collapse building on Massey Street in Lagos Island. We are going to take you through the building and uh, to see the situation of the rooms and how how ready is the building for the victims. Come with us. Mattresses for the displaced persons, at least to keep them when they are discharged from the hospital, so that they won't be homeless. This is the first, the first floor, and I will take it to the second floor up, up, upstairs. Room. I think they are doing a lot of uh, clean up here to ensure that uh, this place is uh, safe for them to stay. This is another room here, and these are another set of uh, mattresses. So, with what we have here, we are sure that at least there are provisions for these persons. This is uh, fact finding. There are provisions for them. But, sir, apart from uh, these uh, mattresses and other things, mosquito nets, food, what are the plans? Yes, what they told us yesterday at Mass under, under the canopy, they are going to provide at least food twice a day 
they should, uh, since yesterday they said they are going to provide food twice yesterday, now, so that uh, they who, can... Who promised, who promised that? Is it the government or NGOs? The NGOs. Okay. They said yes, they have received a lot of goods. Okay. There's something like fan, mattress, food, everything. So that, it's a, yes, including mos net, mosquito net, Yes. So, uh, okay. so what's the plan? The, the, those children that uh, they need to go back to school, what's the plan as regards their schooling? I don't know the idea uh, the, what NGO is doing about that, but I know that they, they will make provisions. If we, yes, I can remember. They told, they told us yesterday that they are going to make a scholarship for the, for the children. Yes, they will, they are going, they will provide well, scholarship. Well, have you ever have you made any step to discuss this case with uh, the local government area? To discuss with the local government No, we, we did not discuss anything. Now, because apart, apart from the victims of the massive uh, collapse building, there are some places that have been marked for demolition. Demolition have started. The people that are displaced in those buildings, what is the plan for them? Uh, I think we should make a... We try and see a local government chairman so that uh, maybe they can help us and talk to the government so that we are the, they will locate those people because now they are homeless they they don't have a place to live now so people they don't even know what to do now and again what i really see around this area now we have some boys I can say they, most of some of them, they are homeless. They've started living in that room, causing nuisance, everything there. Smoking, do everything, whatever they want there. How many to come so, to the rescue of the environment? Yes, come and take care of this environment. Yes, yes. All right, uh, we are going to go downstairs now to meet with the concerned persons. We'll talk to them and you'll get to hear their pains and agony. We'll be right back after this break.